Hello everyone, welcome to Learning AutoCAD 2013. In this video tutorial you will learn about drawings and templates in AutoCAD. This is the second part of this series of tutorials and also you will learn how to set up a new drawing. To start a new drawing normally you go to new in the application menu button and when you click new AutoCAD takes you to this options here and you can see that it's referencing a type of file which is called DWT for example here several names that DWT DWT stands for drawing template the main file in AutoCAD is the DWG but that is another important type of file basically the first thing you're doing when you open a new drawing is name it the way you want. You open your drawing, now you name it. Right now we're going to select a name for it, in this case my project. And when you open up the several types of files you can save in, you can see that there are several years there. You need to remember that when you're saving, most likely you will try to share your drawing with who have an older version so you need to save your drawing in the format that they will be able to open also CAD has an automatic save feature let's access it by going to application menu button options and here when the option dial box comes up you see that there are several tabs there like open and save and here we will specify the time for the automatic save we have it here to eight minutes let's put the default which is 10 minutes and you can see also the box where it says create backup copy with each save that means that every time it's saving is creating a backup copy this means that automatically without you knowing it AutoCAD is going to save you work after 10 minutes so that's for you to keep in mind that AutoCAD is saving for you in addition to that we'll come later to this but if you type options also it will come up the same result you don't need to go to the application menu button you just type it in your keyboard and the options comes up you have several other tabs there we'll return later to learn a little bit more about that so another very important utility is the drawing recovery manager which you find application menu button go all the way down drawing utilities on the right scroll down to the bottom and you see there open the drawing recovery manager the drawing recovery manager is a very useful utility because sometimes AutoCAD might crash unexpectedly and then you lost all your work but because you already saved there uh, you said there that every 10 minutes it will save automatically that means that here you have the files that are being recovered the backup file that by default is in the drone recovery manager is always one save behind your actual work that means if in the next two minutes AutoCAD crashes that last saved is already protected there okay you most likely remember we had a file open there but we open a new one another important feature that AutoCAD has is that you can work with several drawings at the same time we go to the view tab in the ribbon and there we go to the user interface module and then you have there a button which is called switch windows you can see there that we have right now two different drawings open if you click the other one the desk that we have at the very beginning comes up you can see it there we have in the background the other one as you can see every window has its own buttons minimize maximize close so basically this is typical of a windows environment you can have several drawings open at the same time each one has its own status bar and several other options 
Another way to access the same thing is if you go to all to the way down to the uh, status bar, you have there a button which is called Quick View Drawing, and you just point at it. You just hover over the button, and you can see easily the windows you have open. So you don't need to go to the ribbon to see there uh, how many drawings you have open, and you can change in between those easily by going to the status bar and to the quick view drawing tool. However, when you got the new drawing, in this case, the template, it has its own drawing units. AutoCAD by default comes up with decimal system. It's going to the application menu button, we click there, we go all the way down to drawing utilities, we point at it, and on the right, you see the second from top to bottom is units. After clicking units, this drawing units pop-up comes up. You see here, by default, it's decimal, and you can change it there to architectural, engineering, some others. Then you can specify the precision and several other options. Go on your own and, and work with it. So. Let's put it for us architectural, let's leave it like that right now. And from now on, whenever you specify which size, if you click line, for example, it should be input in AutoCAD in feet and inches because you selected the units of measurements as architecture. The other basic setting is the limits of the drawing. You can access that, you can specify that limit by type in in your keyboard limits when you hit enters you see that it says limits specify lower left corner or give you on or off you can turn on or off this uh, setting and then you can input there the limits of course as we already spoke uh, the environment where you work with is infinite however you don't want to uh, spend valuable resources of your computer so you can limit where you will be able to draw let's use in my case 25 feet by 30 feet that means after you hit enter that means that your working space is being restrained to a 25 by 30 feet square Something important for you to understand in AutoCAD also is the way AutoCAD select the elements or uh, entities in AutoCAD. If you select from right to left, that means AutoCAD is selecting everything it touches. But if you select from left to right, it only selects the elements which are enclosed in the window you select. This difference in selection is very useful when you are going to uh, move things or copy things or simply uh, for the daily task in AutoCAD is very useful. You will see it later. We've been talking about the different elements of a template and as you see, something which is basic for a template is the units of measurement and the limits of the drawing so each one of your templates should include this or at least should include some uh, instructions so basically right now you have learned the importance of creating your own templates and how to do it the difference between a, a drawing and a template so let's go ahead and create our own template we go to save as and we hit drawing template on the right now, AutoCAD by default comes up with the option of saving as a template and we name it the way we prefer. We create my project DWT and there is our template. In AutoCAD 2013, when you save a new template, it gives you the option of do a description. In this case, let's put there my own DWT to test. And that means that every time you open up 
that DW to your template, that means that all the settings you save there are preset or pre-saved by default. And you have it ready just to start drawing in your new uh, draw drawing. So let's do some changes. Let's go to the paper space or layout tabs in this case and let's rename the layout one and let's put there you right click and click rename and let's put there front view instead of layout one let's do the same with the second layout right click and let's rename it as a optional view these are random names okay you can put there the name you want after you quick save because we are saving a DWT or a template everything you did there is being pre-saved it's already saved you can open it and have it ready if now you go here and instead of DWG you reference the DWT or a template go to my project DWT and it's there you see there the, the preview and you see everything has been saved and finally it's important for you to understand that once you create your own template you can modify you can still modify your own template and keep updating it as you see it necessary over time and while you keep learning you could be modifying your own template by me by this I mean that for now you could specify an architectural template and you might want to save it as architectural DWT for you but then you might keep adding things that you will do only once now try it on your own and don't worry if you do something wrong you can always undo any mistake by going to the undo bottom on top and let's wrap up the template concept a template is a set of preset instructions and characteristics for boosting your productivity. In AutoCAD, typically a template includes units and limits, layers with line standards, text, dimension, leaders, tables, plot styles, common symbols and blocks, the title blocks, and several other specifications. So you can uh, pre save in your own template you could call it the way you prefer all those instructions and when you start drafting you start with all this work pre-done so you can concentrate in going ahead and draft or draw and not having to go all over uh, pre-setting AutoCAD and have it ready for working okay guys this is all for today Keep practicing on your own, adding elements to your template. Remember to save often your working session, your drawing. Also remember to like the video if you enjoy it. And finally, keep watching for next tutorials. See you next time.